Today we are going to solve a numerical based on our previous lecture in which I showed you how to draw the SFD and BMD for a cantilever beam carrying a uniformly varying load. Before starting this tutorial, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. We have a cantilever beam carrying a uniformly varying load from 0 at point B to 4 kN per meter at point C and the span of the beam is 6 meter. For drawing the SFD, we need to calculate the values of shear force at points B and A. At point B, the value of shear force will be equal to 0 and at point A, the value of shear force will be equal to area of load diagram ABC which is equal to area of triangle equal to 1 by 2 base of triangle which is 6 into height of triangle which is 4 so value of shear force at point A will be equal to 12 kN. It should be noted that the value of shear force between points A and C varies according to the parabolic law as derived earlier in our previous lecture. To draw the SFD, we will start from the baseline AB. Since the value of shear force at point B is 0, so we will mark this point as 0. And the calculated value of shear force at point A is 12 kN. So we will draw plus 12 kN to some scale above the baseline at point A. And by joining A dash B by a parabolic curve, we will get the resulting shear force diagram. Now, we need to calculate the values of bending moment at points B and A. The value of bending moment at point B will be equal to 0 and at point A the value of bending moment will be equal to minus times area of triangle ABC into distance of center of gravity of this triangle ABC from point A. So bending moment will be equal to minus times 1 by 2 base of triangle which is 6 into height of triangle which is 4 into distance of CG of triangle ABC from point A which is x by 3 equal to 6 by 3 so bending moment will be equal to minus times 24 kN meter the negative sign indicates clockwise moment it should be noted that the bending moment between A and B varies according to the cubic law to draw the BMD we will start from the baseline AB since the bending moment at point B is 0 so we will mark this point as 0 and at point A the value of bending moment is minus 24 kN so we will draw minus 24 kN to some scale below the baseline at point A and by joining A dash B we will get the resulting BMD. So this was all about this tutorial. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.